Good morning. I am Dr. G. Arun Kumar, Professor and Head, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. My topic is Complaint Mechanism and System for New Age Industries. Let me start with what is complaint mechanisms? How it is differ from rigid body mechanisms? So rigid body mechanisms are made with the joints and links, but complaint mechanisms are single elastic continua without joints that elastically deforms to produce desired force and motion. And then complaint mechanisms gain some of its mobility from deflection of its flexible members rather than movable joints. I would like to give some example for complaint mechanism. Here you can see that complaint wiper, it is made by single elastic continuum. So it, it does not have any joints and links. So here it is a conventional stapler. In day to day use, we are using conventional stapler, but that one is complaint stapler made with the single elastic continuum made by polypropylene material or polyethylene material or ABS plastics. So there are many advantages of complaint mechanisms. I would like to list down as far as cost reduction is concerned. So if you are using complaint mechanism and system instead of any rigid body systems, the first one is part count reduction. For example, a particular object or particular product should be made with many parts in rigid body or conventional type, but in compliance system, it is made as a single elastic continuum. And then it is simplified manufacturing process because of 3D printing, uh, the technology which enabled to produce compliance system or injection molding process. And then reduced assembly time because it consists of less number of parts, so it is easier to, for us to uh, assemble as early as possible. As far as increased performance is concerned, if you are using compliance system instead of rigid body system, it increases high precision and reliability apart from that uh, reduced maintenance because it, it, it does not have any friction and wear. It is made by single elastic continuum. And then other than that, uh, absence of rigid body kinematic joints ap apart from that provision of non-mechanical actuation. So there is no kinematic joints and links. That is the one of the advantages. That is the reason there is no friction and uh, uh, wear. So there is no need for lubrication or there is no need for um, maintenance also. So the working principle of complaint mechanism is simple. So uh, deflection of flexible members to store energy in the form of strain energy. So strain energy is same as elastic potential energy in a spring. So that is the reason, so complaint mechanisms are working very effectively. Now if you see this uh, diagram, you can able to understand the difference between the complaint mechanism and rigid body mechanism. In elastic mechanism, that is elastic pair and elastic segments uh, are available. But in rigid body conventional mechanism, kinematic pores and rigid bodies are available. So these are the complaint mechanisms or complaints in nature. So the first one is starfish. Naturally it is uh, complaint. Uh, the second starfish and then octobus. It is also complaint in nature. So if we want to create octobus in the form of complaint system, it should be uh, printed either by 3D printer or injection molding. Here you can see that the birds wings which are complaint in nature. Now I can move on to the application part how complaint mechanism and systems which are useful for automotive industry, automotive parts. The first one is centrifugal clutch which was developed by BUY University USA. So it is complaint in nature. And then bicycle, complaint bicycle, it is made uh, by complaint systems. It was developed by BHP, you know, BHP USA. And then car wiper. It is made by single elastic continuum instead of uh, conventional wiper. Uh, it was uh, uh, developed by uh, an university, Turkey. And then twill, it was developed by Michelin tires. And apart from that, the most famous complaint mechanism disc brakes, which was developed by 
BYU University. These are the few examples for complaint mechanism and system, especially for automotive parts. And then complaint devices for complaint overrunning clutches and complaint centrifugal clutches. So these are all the devices which can replace with the rigid body uh, devices. Only thing is the limitation of uh, load. So I can show you some of the complaint devices, complaint orthogonal flat spring which was developed by flow serve spring USA and then complaint bistable switch, bistable switch which was developed by Cheetah USA. So these are all also a complaint devices. Apart from that complaint devices which are used in uh, exercise machine, you can see that many parts in the exercise machines which are complaint in nature which are made by complaint uh, systems. Apart from that complaint bicycle derailleur, okay. So in that case uh, normally the, uh, the chain will come out from the sprocket. So in order to avoid that the derailleur has been developed by uh, BYU University USA so that the chain will not come out from the sprocket. And uh, some of the uh, precision equipments like complaint precision instrument okay, for measurement purpose and apart from that complaint end effector. The end effector is a device which is used for robots okay, that can hold the component or that can hold the object from one place to another place. So where complaints are helpful. Apart from that, so uh, for various new age applications, domain wise automotive domain which is a car wiper, steering pot, gears, brakes, apart from that overrunning clutches and centrifugal clutches, orthogonal flat spring and tires. So, so far we have seen all the applications in automotive, aerospace also the complaint mechanisms which are useful that is for adaptive complaint wing and adaptive rotor blades and then proportional valves. So these are the devices that can be made with the help of a complaint mechanism. So it is made by ABS plastics or polypropylene material. Other than that, it can be used for medical field for uh, producing complaint gripper and uh, other complaint heart valves. Nowadays, the valves are changing. So uh, instead of using uh, the metal valve, if you are using complaint heart valve, the lifespan is very high for the patients. And then for medical invasive surgery and surgical tools are made by complaints. It can be used for highway safety and flight safety for anti-lock braking system and airbag deployment also. Other than that, we have seen that high precision equipment. So now I just want to give a gist of uh, how we have to do a design of complaint system and complaint devices with a basic example. Okay. So the first step is generation of geometrical shape. So it has been uh, derived by three levels of hierarchy. One is topology, another one is shape, the third one is size. Okay. So topology refers how the material will be distributed, how the holes or uh, how the regions are interconnected with each other. Okay. And then there are various topology optimization methods which are available. One is method of moving asymptotes, the second one is genetic algorithm GA and the more importantly the optimality criteria method, OC method and then sequential linear programming, SLP because complaint mechanisms are designed using topology optimization. There are four methods are available in which I would like to opt optimality criteria method because the convergence is very quick. It involves only objective function and constraints. So here the optimality criteria method which has been uh, specified in a very uh, sequential and step by step manner which involves finite element analysis apart from that uh, one dimensional minimization and then convergence. And the reason, the objective of uh, making the conventional system into complaint system is to get maximum geometrical advantage and mechanical advantage as well as mechanical efficiency. The geometrical advantage is nothing but the ratio of output displacement to input displacement. Okay. And then the mechanical ad, uh, advantage is nothing but the ratio of output work to input work. Mechanical efficiency is nothing but output by input. So these three things 
can be improvised once if we make it into compliant system instead of rigid body systems. Okay, this is the design procedure. Uh, you can use uh, this design procedure in order to develop a prototype like this because either injection molding machine or 3D printer can be used for making the compliant systems and devices. For displacement amplification purpose, a, a device has been developed. You can see that once if you give input force at this particular point, the, because of the input force displacement will be there. But since the system is made by compliance, so compliance in nature, so here you can get amplification of displacement 50 by input displacement. Here you can see that some of the domains which I have taken for better understanding. So rectangular domain, it is a 2D domain, uh, the design of compliant uh, systems uh, using topology optimization, so from which the optimized topology can be obtained. Either you can use ANSYS uh, topology optimization or MATLAB or OptiStrust software in order to derive topology optimized domain from the regular domain. Some of the devices which we have designed, okay, so these are all conventional in nature, but we have developed a compliant clutch plate using this procedure, design procedure. Uh, topology optimization method, optimality criteria procedure and then with the help of uh, topology optimization, we have reduced to 40 percentage of weight. So weight reduction is main thing. So one is material distribution according to the application of load, apart from that mass reduction, both are achieved and this is compliant clutch plate which we have developed. And other than that, uh, some of the devices which we have developed is compliant footrest that can be used in bicycle or that can be used in two wheelers. And you can see that the structure and by using ANSYS topology optimization, we have developed this optimized topology and then compliant anchor which was developed with the help of polypropylene material. It is a polymer material and it was 3D printed which can be used for automotive industry. And L seat plate. So it is for general purpose. So here also you can able to uh, reduce the mass or weight with the help of topology optimization because design of compliant mechanism and compliant system using topology optimization. You can see that compliant gripper. Nowadays in medical field, grippers are useful. If you are using conventional gripper, that will create a lot of impression and lot of force on the body parts. So instead of that, when you are using compliant gripper, both gripping force is good. At the same time, there is no damage for the uh, body parts. So compliant gripper, it is also done by topology optimization method. Apart from that, there are various conventional parts which can be converted into compliant parts. So only thing is the load carrying capacity, wherever the flexibility is required and wherever the minimum load is applicable, so where uh, you can see that you can uh, able to convert the rigid body or conventional devices into compliant devices. So it is called a robot end effector. You can see that compliant clutch, uh, car L plate seater, which is made by compliant parts, foot rest, and you can see that uh, L plate seater and head restraint. So these are all the examples. So thank you very much for listening my lecture today about uh, compliant mechanism. So it has been found in various uh, applications. So far we have discussed uh, the compliant mechanism and system application for new age industries. Thank you once again.